Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I normally don't do videos about this. And before I forget, I need to say that I am not a financial advisor. Excuse Poppy and Big Red out there. I think they're duking it out in the chicken coop. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is what I do for a hobby. Technical analysis is definitely not my strength. But every once in a while, I see a couple of things that I like to share with you if you're interested in gold and silver. Now, many of you know that follow me and have been following me for a while. I've got a couple of gold and silver sponsors that sponsor this video. Whenever I do a video like this, I make it a point not to mention my sponsors and not to have this video sponsored. Why? Because I don't want you to think that I'm telling you what I'm about to tell you so that you can use my sponsors. This is what I see and I think that anyone who's selling their gold right now because it's hit a high or anyone that's not buying gold or silver are making a mistake. There are a couple of patterns in technical analysis that allow you to see in, in, a, in a way the future. Right? It tells you, hey, this has happened so many times that the law of averages say that whenever you see this happen, this is more than likely what's going to happen next with a very high probability. Okay, now that's what I'm talking to you about today. And the first one that we're going to go over is a bull flag. Now, what you're looking at here is the chart of gold and you can see. I think I mentioned this during this morning's video. And by the way, this video will probably be released on Friday. Uh, you can see that the high for gold went all the way up to $2,223. But that's not really what I'm looking at as that high. Once I was doing the video for Thursday morning, I noticed that this looks to me what is called a bull bull flag excuse me and let me go ahead and show you really quick what the definition of a bull flag is and how we can compare this to what it's defined to be okay here it says that a bull flag formation signals a move higher bullish flag formations are found in stocks with strong uptrends and are considered good continuation patterns meaning that they're headed up as a trend and that they will continue to go up they are called a bull flag because the pattern resembles a flag on a pole. The pole is the result of a vertical rise in a stock and the flag results from a period of consolidation. The flag, they say, can be a horizontal rectangle, but is also often angled down away from the prevailing trend. Here is what they say a bull flag looks like. Now take a look at this pattern right here and then go ahead and let's match it against to what is actually happening now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this. If you can follow my mouse, just take a look at how pretty much identical these are. Here is the breakout right here. Actually, the breakout is, I believe, around here where it actually passes this line. And you can see that on this flag, there's a breakout down here. And it has a pole that goes pretty much vertical, just like this one. And then it has a rectangle in where the price action is contained in. What does this mean? It means that the probabilities of the price trend on this chart is going to continue upward. That's one of the reasons why I've said that if you are selling your gold right now, because I've seen a lot of people are selling gold. I talked to Jerry over at Alaska Rare Coins yesterday, and he said that he just took in a large order of gold that was sold into the market. And if you're selling it now, I think that in the next several months that you're gonna be sorry that you sold it this early. Now, let me show you one more pattern that I believe is even more bullish than a bull flag. And that is called a cup and handle pattern. And when you see the cup and handle pattern that gold has formed, over the last like 14 years or so, you're gonna be amazed. And from what I understand, ladies and gentlemen, I could be wrong, but I believe that I've heard that a cup and handle pattern is like one of the strongest patterns in technical analysis, meaning that the price is pretty much for sure gonna go up, creating a new base and then just shooting up from there. But let's read up. A cup and handle pattern, what is it? It's a price pattern on a securities price chart. It's a technical indicator that resembles a cup with a handle, where the cup is the shape of an U, 
and the handle has a slight downward drift. So here is what a cup and handle looks like. Let's see how it matches up against the cup and handle that we're looking at on the actual gold sharp for the last like 15 or 14 years or so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the exact same chart that you were looking at before, except that I extended it out to the monthly. Before we were looking at the daily, at the daily action, meaning that each one of these candles signify one day of action. Here we're looking at the monthly, meaning that each one of these candles, and you see the green uh, lines and the red lines, these are each called candles. These are monthly candles. We're going to take it all the way back to the previous all-time highs, right back after the great financial crisis, which occurred in 2011, specifically around September of 2011. And you can see that it starts to form this, I like to call it a decadal long cup and handle. Why? Because it lasts more than a decade. This tells me that this next breakout in gold is going to be massive. But if you can see, it starts going down just like a little cup. And look at this. I even remember drawing what this cup looks like it's a cup and then here here is the handle and as you can see the handle has pretty much broken out and now that says that that's just going to be an upward trend for how long i think for a very very long time at least the next decade or so will gold and silver will follow and be in a bull market let's go ahead and compare the example that we looked at earlier to this and see how they match up well ladies and gentlemen take a look at this let's go ahead and start here dates don't matter here because it's just a sample but does this not look just like our sample right here i mean they are identical i'm not telling you what to do but I believe that if you're selling your gold into the market, unless you're using it to buy something that will bring you even more value in the future, like maybe property or a business or something like that, I believe you're making a big mistake. And if you're not taking advantage of the market, I would say mostly the silver market, then you're making a mistake too. And only time will tell whether I'm right or I'm wrong. But I do believe that history is on my side. And take a look at what we have to look forward to with silver. Silver has been manipulated for so many years and for so many reasons. Why do you think that Elon Musk will not come out on Twitter or X and say, buy silver? Remember back when he was uh, saying, buy, a, I think it was Dogecoin that uh, little puppy coin on cryptos and it was a, a huge huge deal you know why i believe he didn't have a problem doing that one it was promoting his companies number one but two dogecoin is not something that tesla could use to build what it builds silver is so the more people that want silver the more expensive that silver will be and he will never come out and say go buy silver because he knows what that would mean. His tweets go worldwide. And a lot of people actually do what he says on his tweets. So he'll never say that. You can take my word on that. I hope I'm proven wrong, but he will never say that. This right here, back in 2011, I believe, is where silver hit its last top at like 48 bucks an ounce. And ladies and gentlemen, once silver completes its cup and handle, because you can see it's moving like a cup, once it completes its cup and handle like gold, I believe it is going to go to the stratosphere. Am I saying this so that you can go out there and buy silver and hope to become rich with it? No, I'm saying this because once something is manipulated, it can only be manipulated for as long as nature allows it to be manipulated. And in my opinion, silver is not only a precious metal, but it's needed so much more than gold is that in the end, the people that hold the silver will be the real winners. When it comes to wealth preservation, that is. Well, I hope you got something out of this. I try to keep this nice and short. And I hope that you join in on today's live stream at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.